Let's see if ChatGPT can recreate the iconic free to play base building strategy game Clash of Clans. The rules are pretty simple. I cannot write a single line of code and all the assets have to be generated with AI. All right, so we're gonna start off by generating all the 3D models. And we're gonna do that by using Meshi. The first model we're gonna generate is the Barbarian. And I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me a description and then I'm gonna put it into Meshi and see what it gives us. All right, this is a good prompt. Nice. And let's generate. There we go. Okay, wait, this is actually pretty tough, yo. Meshi also offers a powerful rigging feature that allows you to animate characters effortlessly. It supports both humanoid and quadruped rigs, giving you flexibility based on your character model. You can fine tune the offset, height, and rotation as needed to ensure a perfect fit. The process is simple. Just place the markers on the corresponding body parts and Meshi will automatically generate the rig in seconds. From there, you can dive straight into animation, choosing from a variety of built-in presets. For the Barbarian, I kept it simple with a running and attack animation since that's all we need. And of course, the Barbarian needs a sword, so I generated one with Meshi as well. And then I moved on to the Giant. This one is perfect. Yo, this is Loki the perfect Giant, honestly, bro. Then I got some animations for him. I bet this is what we're going to go with for the Town Hall. And here's what Meshi gave us for the Cannon and the Cannonball. Next up was the Gold Storage and the Elixir Storage. Ooh, interesting. No, it actually cooked with this. All right, so this will be the gold mine we're gonna use. Dude, the elixir ones always hit. Yeah, this one's so good. Download. All right, here's the builder hut. This is the barracks, army camp. And with all of those, it was time to start putting together the game inside of Unity. The first thing I wanna do is just be able to drag and drop barbarians into the scene. Right now it's completely empty, so I'm gonna have to make like a ground and stuff, but I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me the scripts for dragging and dropping barbarians. Oh, I bet. This would actually be pretty simple to set up. Let's drag him in. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. Hey, yo. There we go. That's what this texture and stuff. Hey, little barbarian. That's clean. I think I should just honestly remove this, John, and like let it be like that. Okay, we should just be running right now. Hey, let me cook. Hold up. Let me cook. All right, now we need a proper position for the barbarian because uh, he is in the ground right now, which we don't want that. Whoa, what the? Wait, why does he teleport? Oh, uh, I see. The barb is supposed to be over there, but the mesh is not. <laughs> this should work now. I was being a little acoustic earlier. There we go. It's not always in his running animation. He doesn't teleport anywhere. Now the next thing I want to add is I want to put his sword in his hand. And then I'm gonna add like a, put like a, a building right here. I'm gonna make a script where he can run to the building and attack. So now it's gonna be pretty much snugged with that hand and it should move accordingly with it. Let's see. Hey. Oh, okay, okay. For the building we're gonna be testing this out with is the town hall. O M G. Why is it that small? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not like that. Uh oh, not like that. There we go, a nice uniform scale. I would say the town hall is about that big. So I guess like what I'm gonna do, actually, let me just ask ChatGPT. Whoa, this is complicated. Copy. Paste. Let's see. Hey, here we go. Then just stop. Wow, that is beautiful. Very nice. Okay, yeah, so the only thing we need to do is switch the animation to the um, swinging sword animation and it needs to be able to do some damage. So let's get to it. It should be working now. And he starts swinging. Boom, a boom, a boom. There we go. And it disappears, we destroy the building. But there we go, that's a good start. So now the barbarian is actually functional. Okay, so now that the barbarian can actually, you know, run to the building and attack it, we need to be able to actually drag and drop troops onto the uh, field. Well, if I eat not smush large nigga, I what do you mean? I bet. It gave us the drag and drop script right here. That's pretty big. Barbarian. Hey! Oh, look at this. Oh, shoot. There is a problem, though. 
It's just not attacking the town hall. All right, so we can spawn them in now, but they don't do anything. Like they don't move. I don't know what that's about. So let me uh, ask ChatGPT. So it just wants me to update the two scripts. I don't know what it's changing, but I'm just hoping it works. Here we go. There it is. Oh, bet. Wait, that's kind of weird. Why does it like, huh? It kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. So if we spawn one, it'll go like right away. But if we spawn on like a third one, it like takes more time. And this one just doesn't go. It's a skibbity sus though. Whenever I like spawn a new one, they just all like kind of freeze. I suppose we can work on the giants now. But we have the giants working now. They get into range and then they attack. Let's move on to the next thing. Now it was time to put together the base. All right, so here's a little base I cooked up. Oh yeah, and I was able to fix that weird troop bug where they would like freeze and stuff. It only took me like a couple hours going back and forth with ChatGPT, but hey. Before I show the final gameplay, I gotta give a huge shout out to Meshi because honestly this game would be nothing without it. Meshi absolutely carried with its goaded 3D models, making the entire process stupidly easy. They've helped create over 20 million 3D models and have the largest community of 3D creators in the world. Whether you're making a game, an animation, or just messing around in Blender, you can generate high quality 3D models in seconds just from text or images. You can go ahead and sign up for Meshi using the first link in the description or the link in the pinned comment. I would also like to mention that Meshi has a referral program where if you invite a new friend to sign up, you guys will both receive a free one month membership. So yeah, don't miss out and here is the final gameplay.